All right, guys, uh, today we're doing a uh, coffin mod. Uh, this is going to be on the Odyssey FZ GSPI DD JW. That is for the Pioneer DDJ SX uh, road ready coffin. What we're going to be installing are these XLR chassis mount flush connectors, as well as this Neutrik PowerCon chassis mount connector. These are all made by Neutrik. I will put the description below with all the links uh, so that you can get these for yourself. Let's get started. Okay, so here's a look at the inside of the DDJ SX coffin uh, with the top off now. Uh, here you will see the power strip where everything is connected. We've cut the end off of the power strip. That's where the Neutrik power connector will be connected eventually. Uh, over here is the XLR outputs of the DDJSX. Right here is where we will be putting the XLR flush mounts and over here the PowerCon uh, flush mount connector as well. So just to take a quick look here, let's go ahead and pull this DDJSX out and get these holes drilled right here. Uh, for the XLR connectors. Okay guys, so here you'll see the two holes drilled for the XLR flush mount connectors. Right there side by side. On this other side of the coffin we're wiring up the, the Neutrik uh, PowerCon connector which that well, you'll see right here. That'll be flush mounted. On the other side we've spliced our multi-plug and we're going to end up soldering that to the back of the plug. And what we're doing is uh, just taking any standard XLR cable, microphone cable, measure the appropriate size from the DDJSX to the back of the coffin, cut it, splice it, solder it to the correct numbers on the back of your chassis mount, and mount it flush. We're going to do that. We'll be back in the next clip. Okay, guys, so here you see our XLR cable, which we've cut short. Went ahead and spliced uh, the red, the white, and the gold. We've separated them all. Uh, in some cases, XLR will have a blue. In this case, it's uh, clear or white, if you will. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and solder these pieces to the back of the Neutrik uh, flush mount chassis mount, which is this thing right here. We're going to get it all soldered up, flush mount it, and we'll be back in the next clip. Okay guys, we're back. What we did is we soldered all three leads to the back of both XLR chassis mounts. As you see here, they're soldered with electrical tape wrapped around them for extra security. We're going to flush mount these up against the coffin, put two, uh, or actually put a total of four number six three-quarter inch beveled head uh, self-tapping screws into the coffin to keep them secure. This will be their permanent home. As you see here, we took a short XLR so this will plug directly back into the DDJSX and stay there permanently so it keeps us from unplugging it. Over here is the uh, power cable ready to go for the Neutrik power supply and we're going to go ahead and get that hooked up and uh, see you in the next clip. Alright guys, we're back. What we're doing is we're screwing the uh, XLR chassis mounts to the coffin and while we're doing that I'll go ahead and give you some part numbers here. Uh, the website to find this stuff on is Neutrik.com that's N-E-U-T-R-I-K.com this particular part number for the XLR mounts is N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie, 3, M as in Mary, D as in David, dash L as in Larry, dash B as in boy, dash 1. And as you see here on the screen, I've also put the part number here for you just in case you didn't catch all of that. Uh, but if you look on Neutrik's website, they have a list of distributors that sells all their items. And especially if you're in Texas, Mouser Electronics is really good at one-day shipping, so that helps me out a lot. Over on this side is the PowerCon, ready to go. We're going to get that set up, and we'll be right back. One thing we forgot to show you guys, we also installed these dust caps uh, for the XLR connectors. That part number is Sam, Charlie, Mary, and you can also find those on Neutrik's website. Uh, protects you from any kind of dust or moisture from getting in. Okay guys, and finally, here is the Neutrik PowerCon flush connector. I'll go ahead and put that part number up on the screen right now. What we did is we took some heat shrink wrap and uh, basically heated that around all three connectors to prevent them from touching and shorten anything out. So we're going to go ahead and flush mount this to the coffin with uh, two three-quarter inch number six bevel head self-tapping screws just like we used on the XLR connectors. And the last thing to do 
Okay, so fire this thing up, plug in the Nortrick power cable, and make sure we're getting power to our power surge protector. All right, so here's the uh, Neutrik PowerCon connector flushly mounted to the uh, DDJSX Odyssey coffin. Screwed in in the back here. As you can see, everything is nice and heat shrunk. Uh, all the the, re uh, the hot, the ground, and the neutral wires are tight on there, not going anywhere. And that is connected to this uh, multi-plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Neutrik power cord, simply plugs in, twists and lock. Now that is not going anywhere. You could tug on that all you want. Probably pull the coffin off before you pull this out. As you can see, we do have power here now. Nothing is live. Over here, as you can see inside of the uh, DDJSX coffin, everything is soldered to the leads, the XLR chassis leads, which runs right into the DDJSX. And then here on the outside, as we showed you earlier, XLR mounts, chassis mounts with the covers. Everything snaps in just like it would if you were snapping it into your DDJSX. All the wires are nice and tucked under here. You've got your USB hub here. What is this, like a three or four port? Four port. Four port hub here, so you got multiple outlets here. Pioneer DDJSX plug into the outlet strip. MacBook Pro uh, power cord here. External hard drive power cord here. Everything lies neat underneath here. So now we're going to pull this back. As you can see, that hides everything a little more better. The real test is we're going to go ahead and fire up the DDJ. As you can see, everything comes on. No glitches. Everything's nice and clean. We're going to load up Serato and uh, do a sound test here when we come back. Okay, so here we are going to show uh, the sound test finally. Serato DJ. Two KRK Rocket Sixes. Everything sounds pretty crisp, pretty clear, no distortion. As you can see, you can probably faintly see back here power strip. Final product. Power caught here. Power con chassis mount. XLR chassis mount. All on the Odyssey uh, DDJ SX uh, coffin.